Why is it a problem for a woman to want a sugar daddy as her man and some broke nigga? Like, a lot of the times, women want somebody to financially invest in them so that they can be just as great as their men. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Half of the time, women date these broke ass niggas and they be sitting there bust off together. Don't nobody want that shit. Don't nobody want to be attracted to that shit. Don't nobody want to be tied down to that shit. I'm not saying, although I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman deciding not to do anything if her man allows it, if that's the connection that they have in a relationship and it works for them, then that's not a fucking problem. At the end of the day, if you want to pursue a woman, it's up to that woman to decide what she wants to bring to the table in your relationship because you pursued her. How is that not coming soon? I don't get it. No, but seriously, do you really want to date somebody who's not financially there already? I mean, if that's not what you want, then that's not what you want. But at the end of the day, if you've experienced dating somebody with little to no money, then why continue that pattern? If it don't work for the last guy and the other guy, and you're giving them your all, you're giving them the attention, the romance, the pleasure, whatever it is, and... They don't have not even a hundred dollars to bring to the table. Why are you continuously investing yourself into that person? I feel like a woman who does that doesn't know her worth. That's just my opinion. I ain't saying it's true. I'm just saying I've been there. I've done that. And I don't want no broke guy. I don't want to be with nobody that I'm like, oh my God, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. And you're supposed to be my partner. No. Ain't no. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that you should just pick up any Joe Blow with money. I still feel like you should be attracted to this guy. I still feel like there should be some type of articulate conversation, some type of, you know, communication that's really good and prominent to, you know, stabilizing your relationship. But I feel like he has to have money. It, it, I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't talking to no broke nigga. I don't want to talk to no broke nigga because... I need somebody to invest in me. I want somebody who's going to mentor me to be a better person so that I can add value to my relationship. I don't want somebody who's struggling. I don't want nobody who's struggling. Because I can get all that you're trying to give me from a nigga with money. A lot of the times these niggas don't talk to females with money because of the simple fact that they don't feel needed. A lot of men wants to feel wanted. A lot of men wants to. And before y'all judge, most of y'all mamas married y'all daddies because they have an opportunity that was bigger than what they could do for themselves. For instance, my mama. I, I know my mama married my daddy because he had, first of all, the swag, the money, and he, you know, gave her a dream of coming to America and having a life different from what she was accustomed to. Now, I'm pretty sure my mom fell in love with my dad just because of the simple fact that he wanted to invest in her. And I ain't gonna lie, that's how my daddy raised me. Did I make those decisions? No, but I was wrong and I didn't know my worth at the time. But when you fuck around and meet a bitch that know her worth, listen, I'm a to I, I know my place as a woman. Okay, I've grown up and I've learned to put my childish ways behind me, get thee behind, and I learned that I shouldn't. No, but seriously, y'all. If you're in a situation right now, then I'm talking to you. If you're in a situation where you are coming out of your pocket more than your nigga, and he's not aspiring to be that financial stability for the betterment of your relationship, then I'm going to need you to rethink and reevaluate that whole situation that you're in. Okay. I'm going to need you to realize that you're a woman. You're a powerful motherfucker. Okay? You're powerful because without you, a man is very lonely. Okay? I realize a woman don't really need but want a man. So change what it is that you want about that man. Fuck it. At the end of the day, stop fucking these broke ass niggas for free. Because a lot of things that you're doing with that broke ass...
Cause these niggas can go pay a prostitute for some quick pussy. Okay? There's a lot of pussy out here that he could get. Okay? He could pay for that shit. So if he could go out there and pay for that push pussy and he wants to be with you, then he need to do a little bit more than giving you $100 for your nails, give you $100 for your hair. No, he needs to invest in making you a better you. Okay, I'm not talking about a little bag money, a little, a little, you know, outfit money, a little birthday money, a little vacation money. I'm talking about money that you can motherfucking make for your kids, your kids' kids, and your kids' kids' kids. That's what I learned from these white women. These white women is smarter than the motherfucker. Okay? They done marry Billy, Dick, and Henry. Okay, no, Henry sounds a little black. Bob. Okay? Because they have the finan they have the financial net to ensure that they don't have to worry about little shit. Okay? Half of the time these white women be control over the money. Because these niggas know that, well, shit, I make the money, shit, I need somebody to make sure I ain't just blowing it, you know. So a lot of them be their own accountants, their financial advisors. Be your nigga financial advisor. And if your nigga ain't got enough money for you to financially advise, then honey, I'm going to need you to reevaluate your situation. Because a nigga with money can love you just as good as the broke nigga. If not, better. I'm just saying. Been there, done that. I'm speaking from experience. Don't be taking care of no nobody but your goddamn kids. And if he can't invest in, invest in you, it ain't nothing wrong with that. Keep it pushing.